You're watching Tick Tech Know, technology integration coach tech tips to know. All right, so today on Tick Tech Know, we're going to take a look at how to use Google's Google Drive to be able to embed images into another website, uh, specifically this one that our school district has set up. Uh, in the district that I'm from, there are teacher templates where uh, the teacher has a page where they can put things like their picture, they can put their contact information, uh, a paragraph about themselves, uh, their classroom rules, any kind of links they want, and then they have this middle section here that's kind of Facebook-esque that it, it puts the newest post up in the middle. Well, mostly teachers just put text there, but if you want to put something like uh, uh, like this is an embedded uh, symbol or uh, if you want to embed a picture that's possible too. So to do that I'm going to have to go and log on to my teacher page and that in our district is called classroom news and I have to put in that embed code right here but to have the embed code right there I need the embed code in the first place so let's take a step back. Uh, because we're using Google Apps for Education it's a little more locked down than your standard Google uh, account is. Uh, I'm going to choose New and File Upload, and then I can upload a picture file that I want to use, whether it's a picture of a chart or a map or whatever I want to use that I want to embed in that other site. And then once it's here, like say this one, uh, right now I'm viewing it as it is. Because it's in Google Apps for Education, I can't immediately make this viewable by people who don't have a Google Apps for Education account, which is what I'm actually trying to do. So I'm going to click Share, which is the little person with the plus, then click Get Shareable Link. And notice it's trying to make me only show it to people who are at CMCSS. I need to go another click or two more. So I'm going to click to change this. And again, still just CMCSS people, but there's one more click, more, that allows me to share with anyone on the web who has a link. It's not just anyone in the whole wide world, but anyone who has this link, and that's the important part. It could be, I mean, I could actually use this one too, but I'm going to do with this one right now. And again, still making it view. I don't want them to edit my picture. I just want to be able to show it so I can show that chart and hit save. So now it says anyone with the link can view. That's cool. Now that I've changed the permission for this one, now I have this other little thing, the three dots menu with more actions, he says. And normally there's the word embed. Okay, ah, I forgot. Let me pop this out. There we go. So you got to pop it out. I'm not sure why you have to pop it out, but you do. It's a little weird. Again, now the three dots has the option of embed item. And if I hadn't done share with people outside of CMCSS, I would have had only the owner can see this. But now it gives me this full code here that I can simply copy and paste into this box here under my classroom news, click create, and now when I refresh my teacher page, that chart is there and parents when they come see that can click and can zoom in and view and again the, the thing about having something embedded here is that it needs to be loaded someplace online uh, and well, since we have Google Apps for Education, you might as well take a use of that because it's, it's got 15 gigabytes of storage. It is really fantastically awesome. You just have to do a little more to get it viewable by people outside of our district. All right, so that is how to use Google Apps for Education's Google Drive to share embedded photos into an outside web page. Hope that helps.